my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TT off from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm gonna be talking about the Meta Nephin emulator for the PlayStation 4 and a new update that recently came out like about a month ago. And in this update, I decided to do a video on since I think some of the new features in the Meta Nephin update is worth talking about on my channel. So as showcased here in the thumbnail, you are now able to play, you know, two players. So if you have two PS4 controllers and you may have a friend over at your house, you could kind of do some old school gaming and play like your favorite you know fighting game so in this tutorial i'm going to be showcasing street fighter for this example but as well um some other things i do want to state i'll list it in the change logs um sooner or later but there is added button support for you know configurations such as the playstation 1 emulator within a um, meta Nephin, the nes Sega genesis and a few others more with that being stated out the way as well if you guys want a full installation on how to set up meta Nephin, i will have a card right here now but for for today's guide it's just going to be a update tutorial so i'm already assuming that you already have meta Nephin on your playstation 4 so with that being out the way here are the change logs for um the update for meta Nephin. as i state any of the items i use in my um this video for today will be in the link in the description down below so as stated before there is now two player mode activated and it's already been enabled via with the .cfg file and it works with all emulators or cores so if you want to play you know two players on gran turismo for playstation 1 or the psx emulator or if you want to play on snes you know the um Sega genesis emulator you can for this process on um, PlayStation emulator are basically the LR or excuse me L2 R2 L3 and R3 keys are now mapped and functional um XYZ buttons are now mapped for the Sony or excuse me not Sony but uh Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis so L1 is X now triangle is Y R1 is Z so if you needed or basically if games are supported with that button configuration it's now mapped with this new one as well and it's also added button and also select via immersion buttons for the NES as well as A and B. With that being stated out the way for the change logs, I'm going to go ahead and get started for the prerequisites, what you'll need for today, and anything as I stated before will be in the link in the description down below. So, of course, you need a modded PlayStation 4 that is on firmware is lower than 5.05. So, whether if you have a 1.76, 4.05, 4.55, or 5.05, you can do this process. You cannot do this on higher firmware than 5.05 as I'm recording this, and I'm recording this on 11 30 2019. So, I'm using my PlayStation. PlayStation 4 Pro that's already modded via um with the Hancock or excuse me not Hancock but with the Hen WebKit exploit. Speaking of WebKits, you can either use X Project 1.5.6 WebKit exploit or Al Azurus or any WebKit exploit of your choice. Um anytime if you're able to basically run hen on your system from whatever website or however you're going to exploit your um playstation 4 as long as you run hen you're basically fine for this process you already need meta Nephin and already installed thus that's why i told you guys to go ahead and check out my original video which i had in the card earlier and i will have that in link in the description down below as well and for today's process you need a usb stick that's either formatted to fat32 or xfat i recommend to already have a usb ready on hand that's over 32 Two gigabytes of size at minimum but with all of that getting out the way for today's prerequisites i just want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to marcus 95 and zoom xenol ptr and don't forget if you need any help or support on how to set this up feel free to join my discord but with that being said let's go ahead and get started on the playstation 4 side of things and as well as the pc side of things Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and the link in the description down below, download these two files in the description. Once you have them on your PC, what we need to do is basically extract them. So whether if you have WinWar 7-Zip or something like that, all you got to do is just right click over the file go to extract files here if you have winwar just hit okay and now you would get one folder that we're going to be messing with soon as well go ahead and do the same thing for the meta 0.2 file right here extract files hit okay and then you'll get another folder right here so these two zips i'm just going to go ahead and put them in my recycling bin but what we're going to do now is take the meta Nephin from underscore ps4 one and in this file right here meta Nephin, we're going to take 
um, open this up and we're going to replace the metanefin.cfg file so we're going to update it so since this one is the base version we're going to go to metanefin 0.2 go to this file right here and we're just going to either right click copy and then just paste it over this the old .cfg file so now that it's pasted over and you could see that um we have the updated file here and you can see that it's version 1.22.2 now what we're going to do is just minimize out of this folder right here and then what we're going to do is take this metanefin.ps4 folder i'm going to just drag it out to my desktop I'm not going to install the .pkg since I'm assuming that you guys already have MetaNefin installed. If you guys don't already have MetaNefin installed, you will need to be transferring this file as well. But what we're going to do is plug in our USB and then we're going to go ahead and verify some things on our USB before we transfer over our MetaNefin file. First things first, um, make sure to back up any data on your USB drive if you're going to go ahead and have to basically reformat this because what we're going to do is make sure our thing is on FAT32 or XFAT. The easiest way on how to do that is by right clicking over your USB drive, going into properties. If your file system states that it's on FAT32, you're good to go and you can automatically just transfer over to MetaNefin file. If it says it's on NTFS, what you need to do basically is reformat your hard drive. That's, that's why I said if you have any important files or documents, just put it on your desktop top or somewhere safe because anytime you reformat your hard drive you'll lose all your data I'm not gonna um, basically reformat my hard drive but I'm gonna show you the process on doing it since I do have data I do want to keep on this USB but the way on how to basically reformat your hard drive is right click go into format Make sure if it states that if it's on uh, NTFS or it's on NTFS just go ahead and click XFAT then from here allocation unit size default allocation you can label a volume label for this Make sure you hit quick format, hit start, and then hit OK once it's done. It'll take a while to format, and then basically you either be on FAT32 or XFAT um, if you see it in the file system, and then you could just recheck that your thing is on FAT32. I'm not gonna go hit OK just due to, like I stated before, I have important documents, so I'm hitting cancel. But once your thing is fully reformatted, all you would have to do is go back in your properties, and it will say that your file system has changed either whether in FAT32 or XFAT. So once you're on FAT32 or XFAT, what you need to do is take your USB drive, go into MetaNefin, or take the folder we just transferred over, and then just replace the file structure onto it. So once it's onto the root of your USB, just verify that all of your um basically MetaNefin folder and files are in one area. So you can see that the .cfg we just transferred over is into this one place. So now we're good to go from here. What we need to do now is just go ahead, show hidden icons, go ahead and safely eject your USB drive out. So I already know this is the one that I transferred over MetaNefin. And now what we need to do is go to our PlayStation 4s, set up both of our DualShock controllers so we could play two players on the new emulator with the update. So I'll meet you guys on the PS4. Alrighty guys, so as of right now, what we need to do is go ahead and turn on our PlayStation 4 as showcased here. And then what we need to do is make sure you have a USB connected from your PlayStation 4 to your controller and make sure you hold down the home button as well. Now what we need to do is basically make sure your USB is in your PS4 into the second slot. So I'll showcase that right here in a second so you can see that right now. And what we need to do is take our second controller and we need to set it up as a guest on our PS4, which I'll showcase right now. So here's the PS4 just booting up normally. I'm going to go ahead and grab my second controller here. Go ahead and hit the home button right now. Then from here, go into new user, hit X. What you want to do now is play as guest and hit do not sign in. And voila, we got both of our controllers set up for MetaNefin. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and transfer it back onto the PS4 screen so I can show you more about on how to get this set up. Alrighty guys, so I showcased here, you can see my PlayStation 4 is on the screen. What we need to do now, since we got both our, our basically our PlayStation 4 controllers connected to our system, we need to go to our settings, user guide, user guide again and i'm just going to be using a webkit exploit of my choice so i'm going to be using the ps um p h w o a r i can't really pronounce that but what i'm going to do is run the hen payload so if you're using something like x project or al azarus go ahead and just run hen on your playstation 4 with other um what whichever webkit you have now what we're going to do is go ahead and run metanefin 
please make sure your USB is still in your PS4 for this process. And now what I'm going to do here is go ahead and open up any game of choice. So I'm going to go to the Super Nintendo. I'm going to showcase Street Fighter 2 right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and take both of my controllers and start selecting on the screen. So I'm going to go to versus mode right here. And now, as you see here, I am operating on both controllers at the same time. And now I'm just going to choose two random fighters for this, um, you know, the showcase. And then right now on the screen, what I'm going to do is showcase both of my fighters moving alongside with my controller in the corner. So you can see that this is working, you know, perfectly fine for this process. And as showcased here guys, this is how you play basically two players on the newest build of Meta Nephin. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and I hope that you guys did learn something new for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to share. Please be sure to leave a like. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace